helplessness is a detriment to tourism. More important, it's a detriment to our community as a whole. And uh, most important and most obviously, it's a detriment to the folks and families who find themselves in a homeless situation. Scriptures tell us that the poor, they will always be with him. Is homelessness a solvable problem, or will it always be with us? I appreciate your views on that overarching question, and then also specifically what you can do in the next four years to, to mitigate that. Just four years, huh? Well, um, so homelessness is a big issue, right? It takes it takes time, it takes intentionality. Um, but what we've seen happen around the country is programs like Housing First, okay? And what these programs do is they help to get anybody who is interested in moving out of being in a homeless position into housing, permanent housing, transitional housing. And these programs have been very effective in places like Austin and Dallas and Fort Worth. While they've been implementing them, They've seen that the rate of people who are street involved, who do not wish to be, has dropped dramatically. Now, for those who are not interested in being involved in this transitional housing programs, we are going to need a little help. We're going to need to talk to the state about how it is we get these people into programs that will help them, so that they're not left out on the streets, self-medicating, or having mental illness issues, so we can get them the help that they need. We have wonderful drug court programs, but we can't mandate people get into them if we can't get some help from the state in making sure we can evaluate them. So, I guess the two-pronged approach, which I do believe will take longer than four years, but we could see some progress in the short term, is that we need to make sure that we are doing more than just calling ourselves a housing first city. We need to implement the initiatives that we've seen elsewhere in the country. And then we need to make sure that we have programs in place to help get those individuals who are not interested in transitional housing into the programs that need. Thank you. Uh, let me tell you what I've done. I like to work from facts, first of all. Um, homelessness is uh, a constant focus uh, because we know these are people. And many of these people have run into hard times. Many of them have mental health issues. And the facts of the numbers. And when I was uh, vice mayor in 2014, we established our Homelessness Prevention and Intervention Office, 2014. So let me tell you the numbers, which I did bring with me. Since 2014, when we started this program, the city has put nearly $16.5 million into housing programs. We have secured $20.7 million in federal funding and $350,000 in state funding. We have 75 community partners we have built up relations, relationships with who do our continuum of care, which is housing and services. In 2019, we effectively ended veteran homelessness. Now, this is a huge deal, and it's the first county in Kentucky. And what it means is, when we find a veteran on the street, we have a system we have devised, and we put them immediately into housing, and then they receive services. So, this is what we can do for others. And finally, since 2014, let me tell you this statistic. We do a count every year. We have 1,544 homeless. Today, we have 715. We are chipping away at this every day because it's key. Thank you. Okay.